October 13th, 2011, we made a video with a shaky handheld phone cam. That camera only had about three pixels. I can't find a camera with so few pixels now, but the shakiness will continue as part of the homage to that video. When Q and I made that video seven years ago, little did we realize I would still be here answering up to 10,000 comments a month. Yes, 10,000 comments a month. And always in those 10,000 comments, one question and one question only. What do I do if I can't remove the battery? The answer, the same thing. It's just a little more difficult and more time consuming. You're gonna cut the power to the unit. You're gonna locate the power button, especially on a laptop. You're gonna get a small weight of some sort. Now don't damage your power button, please. On a laptop, it almost has to be a weight because you can't tape it, it's, it's flat. Put about that much pressure on it and hold it overnight. Enough to keep the power button down, say six to eight hours. That's gonna accomplish the same thing that you would have by removing the battery and removing the power source. It's gonna completely drain it. What that's gonna accomplish is a reset, which is cool because it doesn't lose anything on the unit. It doesn't mess up your hard drive, it doesn't do anything, it just resets it. If you're not having a serious hardware problem, this will fix it. This doesn't fix everything, much like the other video like I tried to explain, some people still think that you can drop the laptop down a flight of stairs and then unplug a battery and it's gonna fix it. It doesn't work that way. This is really a catch-all for everything that's not hardware related. Now, very quickly, I did make a video specific for tablets, so if your screen is frozen or it's a black screen on a tablet and this doesn't really explain or help, go to the link in the description or at the end of the video I'll put a link for that. I did three different kinds of tablets, so maybe one of those will help you. Tablets are really simple when they do this. If they're gonna fix, it's just like two buttons and you're done in 30 seconds. One last thing on the way out. The problem that I just described to you, the way to fix it, works about 60 to 70% of the time if the problem you have is a black screen that is lit from behind with nothing on it. The other way that this happens a lot with people is the unit just won't turn on. Now, if it's not getting any power at all before you do what I just had you try, test your power cord. I know. How do I test the power cord, Greg? The unit's not working. It's very simple. Take your power cord, plug in your unit, let it sit for an hour. Come back after that hour is up, touch the block in the middle. If the block in the middle is room temperature, then your adapter is not working. Buy a new one, problem fixed. If that block is warm, then there you go. Do what we just discussed. You can tell the difference. I know you think, well, maybe I can't tell. No, if it's plugged in, it'll be significantly warmer if it's working. But if it's too warm or red hot, that's also a problem. Because I'm feeling especially generous today, this is something I didn't offer last time. Last time I just said, if this works for you, please subscribe. I'm gonna go one better this time. If it works, write in the comments that you subscribed and let me know. I will get an email telling me you subscribed and I will cross-reference them and I will put you into a file. I know you're like, why? What file? What's up, man? You go into the file where I will message you a specific email to ask me questions. When you do that, I will give you an email to send me questions anytime you need some tech support for free. Now, granted, it may take me up to 24 hours, and really, I'm only going to be able to help you guys with software problems. But believe it or not, software is mostly the problem that people have with computers. If this works and turns back on for you, that's considered software, believe it or not. But I'm willing to do that for anybody that's willing to subscribe if they've been successful. That's my new offer. Thanks, guys. No offense. I hope um, I don't have to make a video in seven years because I'm getting 10,000 comments a month. I, I really don't need that in my life. I made the other video so I wouldn't get calls and karma kind of came around, kicked me in the ass, and now I get emails. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Adios.